host, me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live with the big one, the internet phone in. How amazing is that? Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us, and a very big dinky do. Now, we have a lot to discuss this night, so we hope you'll be to your telephones as soon as possible. We're opening up the lines. Uh, here we go. We'll see who this is. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's oh, nice. Kareem Dinky <laughs> Dula. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm going to be honest, quite tired tonight, but I'm okay. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Well, of course, uh, you do a very, very stressful job, and it's near the end of the week. Yes. Yes, you know, so you've done a fantastic job there. So give yourself a good pat on the back. <laughs> well, I was quite impressed, Scotty, because I I done something tonight which I thought I would. Well, I have no idea or anything about. Um, I've ordered three radiators for the house, new central heat radiators. Wow, um, Kareem, good man. And I you're no really doubt have researched much. every bit of it and got exactly the right ones. Yeah, I had to find out about the measurements, the size, and what to do. I had a company come in, and they gave a, a, a very silly quote, shall we say. Yes. So um, I thought, right, I'm going to find get three heat radiators myself, save myself £150, and then I'm, I'm waiting for my neighbour because he can fit them in to see oh, what he's going to quote me. Fantastic. I remember getting a quote for a boiler, and it was, uh, it was £3,500. And I spoke yeah. to a friend of mine and he said, no, he said, that's that's absolutely fine. He says, I'll get a friend of mine to fit it, who's a top fitter man. He said, it'll be around a grand. Yeah, yeah. there you go. And, uh, and, and it was. It, uh, the full job, beautifully done, which has uh, lasted me for the last five years, was yeah. uh, it was about £1,100. Yeah, for, you know? You know? So you've yeah. got to be very careful out there, you know, and not sort of go on somebody because they think they've got a bit of a reputation. Well, I wouldn't name a company. Oh, we very, certainly very will not. A company that does install them as well yes. throughout the whole UK um, was given silly, silly quotes as well, you know, yes. um, where, where for a combi boiler because I've always had problems with combi boilers. Um, when I moved into my house, I think I told you that it started leaking. Yes, I yes, that, I remember that, you were that, saying that. about that. Yes, not good. And of yeah. course, the trouble is a leaking boiler, a leaking pipe, a bus pipe, anything. They can ruin ceilings. They can ruin. Oh, yeah. I mean, they can bring down houses. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's 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 not it's not good. So I've got the three day days. I've ordered them. I'll collect them tomorrow, and then hopefully I'll get them on within the next week or two to put in the house because the cold weather is now come is approaching. Oh, listen, um, is it not just ice this morning on the car? Well, do you know the funny story of that, Scott? Tro tropical, <laughs> tropical yesterday. Yes. Well, the night before, I put my car in the garage because I thought it was going to be cold. And it was fine. And then I thought, I didn't do it last night. And then when I got to the car this morning, it was covered in ice. <laughs> it was covered in ice this morning because you didn't put it away. Yes, I didn't oh. put it in the garage because I thought it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely so, uh, fine. Okay, no. But Scott, a wee question tonight. I'm just right, reading through Facebook stuff. Yes. Um, and would you see. Not my phone there, hello, can oh, you hear me? Yes, hello, we're still here. Yeah, yep, I dropped my mobile. <laughs> yes, try and not <laughs> do that. <laughs> or, or justice system, do you think there is room for improvement? Or do you think everything is fine? And I'm just going to give an example that there's cases where you read, I'm not going to give specific cases, nope, but we mustn't. do you think that while from what that person done and for the little punishment that they got for it, whereas other people that have really done nearly nothing and then they've been severely punished. Yes, I mean, I think really we have to be on to this. We have to be watching what is happening here, you know, and saying, yes. you know, the punishment should fit the crime. Now, that's an old fashioned saying, been with us a long, long time. In fact, one of the Gilbert and Sullivan operas, the punishment should fit the crime. Mm -hmm. Now, that's going back to the 1880s. Yes. Well, do you not find, Scotty, I, I've asked to you briefly about this in the past, but 
I feel from your reading stories about people with, with crimes they've committed and uh, things they've done, they've got a, a record an arm length long, and it's just like it's another wee slap in the wrist. But then when you read other other stuff that's happened, then like people that have not done anything, or it's the first time, or it was a mistake or an accident, and then they just get everything thrown at them. Uh, well, I think, I, think I, I, I seem to remember now, maybe we've got a lawyer listening who will correct me if I haven't got this right. Um, uh -huh. I'm sure there will be many lawyers listening to this. Um, bless them. But I'm just thinking that when a case is being tried, um, they don't refer back to previous offences. Is that correct? So, do they not do that during the case, but then when they come to a conclusion, they have to check all backgrounds, so that would be like... Well, you very often that. see cases, you know, the sheriff uh, um, deferred sentence pending background reports. You know, so you, you've you've got that coming up, but but I'm sure they sort of say no, no, you can't say that you, you can't take the previous offence into account. What if it's linked in a manner? What if you it's know, if it's linked in terms of? Oh yes, if it's very if it's very similar, yes, absolutely. I mean, there are people yeah. walking about that uh, you know the punishment should be far more severe. Yeah, but you see, I think I, we should really, really, really focus on things like knife crime. Yes. You know, drug-related offences. Yes. You know, and, and, and I think we should really, really focus that and come down very heavily on things as a society. As a whole society, we seem to have a lighter touch. Now, the person who's maybe knifed somebody has not had a lighter touch. They've gone in and committed first degree murder, you see. Yes. Well, I read a story that there was a, we'll go into names and details. No, we we can't, we can't. Within a supermarket because they had a disagreement about something. Mm -hmm. And one of them pulled the knife out on the other guy. So the other guy defended himself. He broke the guy's jaw who had the knife through self-defense. However, the, the man with the knife took the other man to court, won, and got compensation. You see, I think, why have we got knife crime? Why are they carrying yeah. a knife in the first yeah. place? I mean, yeah. why, if you're going out to the shops, are you taking a knife? Mm -hmm. Because then, it's yeah. illegal. If you're caught with it on you, you get done. Because you're carrying an offensive weapon. So uh, it's uh, it's very talking. strange. We need to be looking at this, and we need to be defusing all these situations. And people need to be stretching their temper. One of the things that's always got me through life is I have a very long fuse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, okay. and I think that that's very very important. If you have a long fuse, you're in control. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I very rarely lose my temper. When it happens, it does happen, but it doesn't happen often. But another example. Yes, and you can do you can do what the Queen does when she's visiting provinces. You can go on a short informal walkabout. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, but we've got back to the drugs element, Scotty. I think the problem we have with drugs is that too many people see it as the norm in society. Yes. Yes, people were talking about it, drugs. I mean, I, I had a conversation recently and I've seen somebody, when I was young, if there was even anyone remotely connected with drugs, they were going to jail. Yeah. They were yeah. going to jail. You know what I mean? They possessed cannabis, jail. And well, people would, just I... didn't take drugs. It was a very yeah. rare thing. There was certainly uh, tobacco and alcohol around in abundance. Uh -huh. well, what would you say, I think we spoke briefly in the past about this, but your listeners and that will know a lot as well, Portugal years ago had massive, and it was worse if not level, if not worse at times, with Scotland with the drug, uh, with, with the, well, we can't, we can't call them junkies now, they're not allowed to say that word, it's, uh, I've forgotten the, the terminology we spoke about that before. Yeah, but it doesn't but, yeah. matter, people people that 
alter their mental state through substances? Yes, uh, the drug use rooms that you have safe rooms for these drug addicts, shall we say then, to go to inject themselves and to be safe. The Portugal has these rooms. It's proved from what I've read to be very successful. However, I do know, I think it was someone in TikTok said once that in their county in America, it wasn't successful. So I don't know if it depends how it's implemented. Well, I think, you see, for instance, Americans have got guns. Now, why are you mixing drugs and guns? You know, I mean, there's all these dangers out there. We need to start defusing that. So the only people that are armed are the authorities. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. and, and why would you need a knife? Do you know what I mean? No, I, I understand, Scotty. I mean, the problem we have, we've got children, we've got kids that carry knives. I mean, I read that a primary school child was sent home because... He brought a knife into a primary school. This is somewhere up north. I was reading it in the paper, yeah. and I was shocked. A primary school kid bringing a knife in. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very frightening. But you see, what you've got is young people tend not to be consequential thinkers in a big way. Now, that's no disrespect to young people. They're just developing their awarenesses. And there are so many social challenges for young people nowadays, you know, yeah. mixed families, uh, people moving around a lot, terrific shortage of money, you know, thanks social, to, to uh, political mess. As well. So, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, social media, all that sort of stuff. So, you're not getting a stable feed of consequential thinking to a young person's development. And that's going to be a big problem. It's starting now. It's a bit of um, a psychiatric time bomb, I would say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, so, so I think it's very important, parents, teachers, you know, the churches tend to have a bit less influence than I feel they could have or some people might feel they should have, you know, but all these kind of influences in society need to be turning to positive influence. We need to see positivity from our so-called leaders, from our so-called political leaders. We don't need to be watching a kindergarten. You see, that sort of thing, you know, now it's time to go over to the Westminster kindergarten to see what they're up to. Hello, boys and girls. You know, so 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 we don't we don't want that. We need to think seriously about our development. Kareem, I'm going to have to move on. It's always a privilege and a joy to hear you. Thank you, Scotty. Speak to you later. Thank I think you do, la. All the best. That's our Kareem. What a fine fellow. And uh, but I know there's a lot of you wanting to get on tonight. Lots and lots of chat. Let's just see what is happening in the chat. Uh, yes, everybody chats to each other now, the Scotty Show. Well, that's fine. We're a wee community. Hello, Scotty McClure. I'm enjoying these posts. Thank you, pal. Peter Dale Nevins. Lovely to hear from you. Keith says, my life has not got much longer to go. But you keep me going, Mr. Keith Snedden. I send you joy and strength and as much longevity as possible. The phone. What's going on? Yeah. Let me get to the telephone. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Dinky do. Ah, dinky that? do, Martin. Well done for getting on tonight. Yeah. How are you, my man? I'm fine, my man. You disappeared there. I know. Sorry. Give a second. <clears throat> Hello, I'm here, buddy. How are you? Um, how's you? Um, how's yours? How's your day been? My day is excellent. What about yours? My day's been been great. Um, what is what has been happening today? Nothing. Well, everything. There's lots happening every day. I mean, Martin, you need to come on with some ideas, you know. You don't just come on and think, is there nothing happening? You're full of ideas. You're a clever man. What do you think? Um, what do you think of the blues of um, folking out trick-or-treating Halloween? I don't know about this trick-or-treating. There didn't used to be trick-or-treating when I was wee. There was guising, and you went out as a Goloshan. Uh -huh. You see? And you dressed up. I don't know. I was a cat 
Are you a pirate or a prince? The wee girl along the road was a fairy godmother, you know, a, sorry, a fairy. And then there was a fairy godmother. Sometimes the parents went out with them if they were young. You went to all your pals' houses and sang a song and you had a turnip lantern. Yes. <laughs> you see, so you had these kind of things. And then you duped for apples. You had uh, treacle scones. Uh, there was all that sort of idea. Uh-huh. Then the thing I was saying last night about banning fireworks, I think that's um, for us to, um, to to stand in for that. I think, I think we should do that, put a standstill to ban fireworks. Ban the fireworks, Martin. I don't think there's any point in that. There's Suzanne joined us, didn't you do, Suzanne? Yes, absolutely. I don't think so, Martin. I think we should definitely ban the fireworks and we'll just watch an official display. That will do us. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Now, listen, I'm, go on. I was just going to say I'm going to dash on because we're so busy tonight, but it's lovely to hear you. Okay. Love you, do. Love you lots, thank you do, Martin. Fine fellow. Right, to the telephones. Guys, the TikTokers. So much happening. Yeah, big dumb she says one of them here. Now, what have we got here? Jonas, they think people who grow up in bad conditions could just go on a walk. Yes, Swift Swift. Best thing for them. Go on a walk and can do too much bad conditions being used as excuses. There's one good looking fellow behind you, Scotty McClue. I thank you, Corey. You're very kind. Uh, what's your ethnicity? My ethnicity is humanity. I'm a human being, a member of the human race. That's my ethnicity. The man who gifted primitive people with fire. The man who gifted primitive people with fire. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, the wonderful Kirby the Annihilator in the United States. So there we go. Uh, hi, could you please say get well to Lizzie, my friend. A dog died. Yes, yeah, sorry to hear that. Good evening, La. Good evening, Dick Heater. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's David. How are you? Oh, David. How lovely to hear from you, Dinky Doola. Good, son. Good I can't son. believe, okay. David, we've got to another Thursday night and it is outstanding. Well, that's a good thing. You know what I mean? You know, my man, you know. Now, right, here we go. Kareem's making okay a lot of sense, right? Talking about the justice system. Yes. Right? I, I don't know if I can use the word. Okay, the people, the, the people blow people up. I don't think they should ha have a, a actual court case because they, I can't even say the word. to say what they are. No. No, 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 no. no well, no, I know what you mean. Yes, yes, they're terrorists. Right. The terrorists, no, you can say terrorists, David, well done. And uh, what I think is that, no, uh, you know, they are still innocent and proved until it's, proved it's, guilty. It's crazy, but I come on now. Yes, you know, yes, but I mean, we have to we have to do that and have to, it, to get to them. I know, it's just, it's not normal. Do you know what I mean, Scotty? You understand? Just in you case, David, we get yeah. the wrong person you know you're so very on. good you're very good but when when what we can do on the internet phone in it broadens uh, everyone's thinking and it yeah. broadens everyone's vision uh, of course I, I do get all that i mean i was watching you today and some reporter says did they, 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 they want a fair trial <laughs> a fair trial do you know what i mean oh i know what you I mean. mean no david i mean everybody's billing when something like that happens and uh yeah. you know and and they know all the rest of it but yes uh they have yeah. to they have to get that I mean, you know, again, the, the, the knife crime is always going to be here. It's shocking. Well, it's we're saying it's always got to be here. I mean, I can remember going away back the Razor Gangs when I was, oh, yes, we, they I, went I, up to the 60s. People getting yes, slashed yes. with these open razors. Now, yes. Glasgow was a very, very wild place. There was a lot of unemployment and a terrific oh. challenge. I mean, Glasgow today is a totally different place. And in so yes. many ways, it's yes, so yes. much better. But we have oh, new course. threats to our society. We have yes, people off their face and head and drugs. 
You know, that's a, that's a baddie. We have youngsters carrying knives. That's a baddie. I mean, even the drug system, right? As you know, to try to change the laws, I don't give us what I'm saying. I know exactly what you're saying. They're, they're going to be leaning on uh, if the police stop someone, say, in like, the city centre, and they won't, maybe, they won't get charged now. They'll give you a caution for such and such. No, you see, I, 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 I don't think that this is the right road to go down. Although I love the idea of decriminalising it from a step, yeah. from the extent that you're taking it away from the crims. Because if you think, if you yeah. thought, uh, I'll just be with you in a minute, Jimmy. I'm just going to buy a wee bit of hash, and you went into the news agents and you yeah. said, "Could I get ten spliffs, please?" And they said, "Yeah, there you go. That's a two pound thirty. Thanks." You know, I mean, again, you know, they were like, okay, like Kareem said, um, the heroin addicts, etc. Yeah, they call it now, they call it a disease. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, it is a disease. Yes, I've checked, that's what I'm saying. You know, it is an illness. If you're a drug addict, you are ill, you are diseased. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, because your problem is you're changing the balance of your mind. I mean, when I was a young boy, Scotty, don't get me wrong, I was involved in uh, taking a wee smoke. Yes, know, yes, right? but don't go into all that. You know, we're not we're yeah. no a confessional. That's a long time ago. But I'll tell you, do you know what made me laugh, David, when I was watching a documentary and they had a lovely wee spaniel trained up as a drugs dog. Yeah. And uh, the policeman goes up to this boy with the jeans on and he goes, uh, excuse me, sir. You know, the dog's shown a bit of interest there. Do you have any drugs on you? And he went, no. He said, do you have any, like, cannabis on you? No. Oh, so he, yeah. he, he brings the dog up. The dog sniffs the guy's backside pocket. And then he, he goes, if, if I could just check your pocket, sir. And he brings out a load of cannabis. And of the, the guy's oh, looking wow. at us and say, whoa, I wonder why that got there. Thinking, so they obviously, the, the nearest suspect was the dog had planted it, you know? Amazing, but it was just so funny. He goes, have you got any drugs on you? No. Then the dog uh, has a wee sniff. He goes, I'll just check oh, your pockets. Yes. There it is, you know? No, just sit beside you and that shoe you huckled. Oh, you huckled big time when the old <laughs> Springer sits down beside you. Right, I can't stay long. Just one other thing. I like, I love Dee. Uh, Dee, can you hear me? Uh, Dee. I, I just like Dee. I love, I love Dee's stories. Dee, go on the phone. Come on, Dee. She's a princess. Love you lots, David. Have a lovely day. Take care. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Dee, Lala. <laughs> That's our Davy, and he's phoning from Tenerife. Miss you with Scott FM, says Keith. Ah, that was Scotland's finest radio hour. Love to our beautiful TikTokers here, dinky do. What have we got to your evening, la? Evening official. Lovely to have you with us, dinky do. Uh, dinky do, raza boom. Evening, la la. Now, here's a guy having a poo. So he's now gone away doing the Swanee because we've given him privacy to go away and do whatever he does. That's probably the most intelligent thing he knows. There we are, fantastic stuff. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you, dude. Uh, love from Martin. Thank you, Raza. Yeah, big dumb shay. Now, uh, who have we got here? Uh, boy in Dubai. So there we go. Dinky, dude. I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is actually. So there we are. It's telling me something. OMG, Dinky Doo says, and good evening, says D. What about that? Hi, Kareem. Hi. Good night. Sleep well. There we are. You're all away already, are you? Uh, don't be daft, Jerry. I'm kidding. You spend it yourself, sweetheart, says Susan. They're all having a conversation to themselves. Best anywhere, Scotty says, Richie. Fantastic. Xmas cake or Dundee cake? Madeira cake, Sultana cake, big cake with strawberries. We'll have a think about that one, Jerry Dinky Doo. If you've just joined us, a very, very good evening. Welcome to our beautiful TikTokers. So there we are. We are doing so well tonight. It is just amazing. Thursday night, 
nothing gets past me. This is the internet phone in. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. TikTokers, can I direct you to the YouTube channel? You'll see the URL just below my TikTok bio. Click on that and join in the phone in. A lot of calls. You're popular tonight. We're very popular tonight, Nige. So there we go. That's what I think. To the telephones, as soon as possible. You'll see the number come up in front of you there, and you can give us a call. There we are, 0141628-9795. 0141628-9795. Fast becoming the best known telephone number in the world. The internet phone in. Get the message out there. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. And do it right now. It's so important. If you're watching on TikTok, dinky do to you beautiful TikTokers. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely to have you. Now then, what do we got here? Um, ah, oh, love you too, says D to David. D, there you are. You're very popular. So you can give us a call. He loves when you phone up. And I'll keep stum when you're talking. Uh, has anybody seen the TikTok video tonight that I think may well go viral? I did it around 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's a saying of my grandfather's. And you will see it on the TikTok videos. Have a look at that and tell me. Flow tie, dinky do, beachy, beachy. Raza boom, lovely to have you with us. Any particular subjects tonight? Yes, Gulelio. We're talking about uh, sentences that are very lenient for uh, for drug crimes, not drug related crimes, but for possession, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There you are, D. I bet you have loved that one. Now, guys, thank you so much for your generosity. If somebody's feeling flush then it's absolutely free to watch Scotty McClue. But if you're feeling flush, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. And uh, also uh, there's gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Fantastic. Thank you for 30 beautiful TikToks, Mr. Goatface. Mr. Goatface, everybody on TikTok is incredibly kind. To Scotty McClue. I thank you for that. Dinky do. Scotland, the worst drug deaths in Europe. Well, Steve, the only thing is it's a small country. So it depends on looking at your averages. There we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello. Thank you, Dirty. Adi. How about time you phoned? How popular oh. are you becoming? Sorry? How popular are you becoming? I know, I know. That. Listen, I can't get on that chat for you lot talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> well, I know. I, I know, go to um, read the chat. It's all, oh, hi, Dio. Hello, Suzanne. I oh, think, hi, Mark. Think, Hello, Jimmy. I think, I think Jerry and Suzanne have got a wee thing. Is there a wee thing, thing going together? there? Is that what's going on there? Aha. Uh -huh. keep in the back, you know, keep them with them to it and let them talk about their cake. Well, Dio Razaboom uh, says, yeah. Scotty, is that a stately home you're in? So yes, it's a it's a bed. Sit, I'm sitting in the bed. Right. I, okay. So listen, I'm phoning first of all because I am um, your last caller. Is it Dave? David. David. Yes. Dave? Yes. David. A big fan yeah, of yours, by big the way. Hi, Dave. David. A big hello. A big hello to <laughs> David in Tenerife. Yes. Big hello to him. Big fan of him. He's such a lovely guy. Um, and I wanted to ask a question. It was sort of a bugging me today, and I mm -hmm. thought, right, I'll ask. I don't. I do have a TikTok account. Yes. Um, and I have some followers, but like I say, see, I think previously, I don't go on it because it's too fast. And well, know, that's it's, all it's changing to from tonight. From right. tonight, right. you're going to go on to at Scotty McClue. Right. Right, okay. and you will absolutely have the day of your life. <laughs> Scott, Scott, we wait right, till I tell you this, Steve. The reason I raised that wee video, I did a wee video when I came out of work tonight, right? Just okay. 15 seconds. And right. I put it up, and a couple of people looked at it right away. I said, Oh, a couple of people already. Isn't that fabulous? The next okay. thing, something like 3,000 have looked at it. Oh, for goodness now, yeah. now, come on. Now, also oh. on TikTok, I've got 18,000 followers. And I've got 46,000 likes. 
Oh my goodness. Now, no, but that's tiny. I mean, I used to have a quarter of a million people listening to me every half hour. I know. Now, if I, I can that. get a quarter of a million people following me on TikTok, we are laughing. Of course we are. Of course we are. And we're going to do it. Right, so listen, this is the wee, the wee point I was wanting to make. Yes. Now, I don't really know TikTok as much. Um, I, I just go on and just have a wee look. Uh -huh. But I know that you can send roses to people and it costs the person, I don't know, like 90, 99 pence to send a rose. or Yes, yeah, something or like that. So a lot of people how, have how been very generous. Does, how does that work? Does that money go to you? Or does that... Uh, Yes, it no. does. So, say you it's sent me 99 right. pence, I think that okay. they would take uh, something of it, there would be a small fee or something, and then yeah. that money uh, accumulates. So, say it was say it was 75 pence that went right. to the person, and um, say you sent 10 yeah. roses, that's £7.50. Mm -hmm. Now, that mm -hmm. would then go into a wee account, and you can download it to your own account. Right. Does that go to you, though? That comes to me, yes. But right, they, they take a know. wee portion. That's good to know, because I was sitting thinking, what is the point in all these people buying them these wee roses that's going to cost 99 pence just for the sake of it? I just for the sake of it, absolutely. Why I know. You just, you know I'm talking about why don't they just put it in your GoFund? But that's... that's that's well, there's the GoFund. I think the here. best one's probably actually the GoFund or the PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's 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 Very the amazing. one. And, and uh, you know, we got all the wee bits and pieces. And then that allows me to save up and buy another bit of equipment. Of course. Of course it does. People say, oh, you're looking awfully smart. Your camera, your camera's so good, McClue. What's going on? So you paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> We just love you. We just love you. Well, darling, it's we just that I can't manage it all myself. I mean, you know, I can't go out and just buy something, but if everybody helps, exactly. uh, exactly. then I can. And, you yeah. know, it's that stuff. Because if I go out and just buy something, then, you know, you've that's that's it. You know, I've done done in all my pennies. Yeah. Well, you're doing marvellously, marvellously mm. well. Um, I look forward to it every, every night. Um, it's good, really enjoyable. Susan so um, says we's all pals, the McClue clan. Yeah, the McClue clan. But I told I like you, that. I like that name. The McClue clan. I told you, nobody messes with the McClue clan. I'll tell oh, you. But I told you that somebody once said to me it was something that had gone very, very well, and uh, they said to me, Scotty, I think somebody must have your back. I says everybody's got my back. <laughs> Right there, and I can remember I used to get uh, letters from all the prisoners in the big hoose. Really? Uh huh. Oh, big, oh, huge, oh. big sheaves of letters came in all censored and checked by the censor. Oh, and so oh, there's a lot of them telling me they hadn't done what they they were in for, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know they'd, you know they'd obviously got a, a thousand innocent men in the slammer, you know. But um, it it was it was. Okay, the wee souls, but you see, the thing is, they didn't have um, television at night, and the conditions, you know, I mean, I know we say oh, they should be much harder on the prisoners yeah, now, yeah, but the conditions yeah. are pretty poor, overcrowding, all that stuff, let's have it straight, and, um, you know, they, they got the radio at night, they got the Scotty McClue phone in, and they were beside themselves with it, you know? Keep them going, keep them going. But I had to no, calm them all down because they used to say to me, see if you ever get any bother, Scotty, just give us a shout, you know. And I thought, no, no, no. <laughs> You'd be the whole of our one of you. Aye. <laughs> you say, no, no, no. Calm down, we're fine. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. Good times. Oh, that lovely times. Yeah. I mean, that whole show. See, I tell you, another day, two things. Mm -hmm. This will show you just how big that show um, two things. I mean, we know how big it was. We know there's no oh, there's, there's there's no worries about that. But but things that used to happen, like somebody said, Scotty, could you speak to a gentleman? I said, I can. He just now we're doing the show. He said he says he's willing to wait to the end. I said, Yeah, that'll be fine. And here's an absolute gent with a beautiful traveling rug, and he says. I want you to have this because I just love your show. He says, the only other one of these I gave to President Clinton. 
Really? Uh-huh. Wow. wow. And then another day, another day, um, we were talking about India has got big old cars. I think they're called Austin Hindustanis. And they're taxis. <laughs> and they're, I know the Austin Hindustani. And they're based on the old, um, I think they've got marina running gear now, but they look like a 1950s Morris Oxford. So I had a boy on one day and we were discussing cars. Mind we used to discuss everything. And we were discussing uh -huh. motors. And he says, Scotty, what's your ideal motor? And I think yeah. he thought I would immediately say a Rolls Royce. But I says, well, I'll tell you if I was absolutely had the money and it was possible. I think I would see if I could bring a big Austin Hindustani for India. Right? So that's a throwaway comment, D, in a wee discussion on the radio. I'm going for my dinner. And the lovable lassie comes running after me and says, Scotty, Scotty, there's a lady on the phone in. Her husband works for the diplomatic service and says he could probably arrange to get you a car. <laughs> right? So I then goes to my boss because I thought, I don't want to get involved in taking gifts here or something, you know. So I, I went to my boss and I says, um, boss, would you... Would you have any objection if something like that happened? He says, no. He says, uh -huh, is that what not. you're wanting? And I suddenly had to be faced with reality. And I thought, no, uh -huh. no, no, really. <laughs> so you need to watch what you're saying. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't get my Austin into standing. Watch what you wish for. You've watch got, you yeah, exactly, D, watch what you wish for. And see when folk are on uh -huh. slagging the Queen, they say, oh, the luxury she I said, listen. Uh, it's a it's a very 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 tough gig, and they go, "Ah, she stays in a castle." I say, "Have you ever stayed a big in a castle?" castle. Aye. She stays in a very tiny wee bit. Now, can you imagine, D? Say somebody uh, left you and I a castle, dear Denise. I enjoy listening to you and Scotty, and I would like yeah. to leave you my castle, right? And I I phone you up. I say, D, I think we need a wee run out. Get the family together. And we'll go and see this <laughs> castle. Well, like, wow, would you look at this? <laughs> then on the Monday, we get a bill for stonework <laughs> for 50 grand. Yeah, I know, we I think, know. get rid yeah. of this. Can you imagine the heat oh, I see, that's know. them wanting another metre reading. <laughs> I know. You see, we just gave them one last month. No, I've just given a wee cottage with about two rooms. And that's all we're needing, D, you know, the wee flat. And I have it in my glory. Oh, yeah, that's oh, that's oh. all we're needing. Remember a lady called Mary phoned one night. She says, the Queen's quite sad. The Queen should be flung out of her roots. I says, Mary, where if the Queen phones me right now? She says, that's oh. not going to happen. I says, how do you know? You don't know who's listening. Oh, and uh, and she says, Mary should be flung out of her flat in Pollock. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, you get them, don't you? I, I just, I just loved all that nonsense. Every call was a winner. It's life, isn't it? It's, it's <laughs> what makes it. It's just life. It's well, life that's together. that's the beauty of the fun indeed. That's why we love it. Exactly. You know? exactly. It's nothing Definitely. to do with me. It's to do with you guys. It's to do that's with it. the superb calls. You know. It's the people that make it. They do. Random people and, and people like things. your good self. And that lady the other night, she was just full of praise. She said, D, oh. D's call was just amazing. And she said, but Scotty, oh. if you wouldn't mind me saying, could you keep quiet when she's talking? <laughs> that was you told. Oh, I, I, that's me getting my marching orders. But that's great. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's fantastic. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think of it? Oh, by the way, thank you again for your generosity. No, don't worry, don't worry. I do, worry. I do. And did you see, did you see that wee video? I think that might go viral. The video with you and I can't mind his name. No, the one that I just pop up, I, I did it today, it's 15 seconds. And I say, my oh. grandfather used to say. Oh, the McGee's and McTacks. I loved it. I loved it. Well, everybody seems it. to have loved it. I looked well, at it. I looked comment, at it. You've seen my comment. Aye, well, I looked at it after I'd put it up and two people had watched it. I thought, oh, there's two people seen it already. Uh -huh. By the time uh -huh. I got to the house, 3,000. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> have a look. Have a look in your TikTok. I know, I now, know. why I know don't you? I, asked, I commented, and I know Kareem commented. Uh -huh. Um, but I just thought I was. I, I just thought play. I didn't know. I was doing that. I, at first, it took me a wee bit to it, sort of a click, and then when I, cl I clicked, I mean, that's really that's cool. I love it. I, now, so, yeah, what? Do you do me a massive favour? Get your phone and uh, go on your TikTok. Look at at Scotty McClue. That's all it is. At Scotty McClue. Okay, I'll do that. And and uh, you know, follow me and all that stuff, and uh, you'll see some fantastic videos. Brilliant. And report I back, will. please. Report back. I will do. You know, I always do. We need you know, the feedback. Do. That's what it's all about. Here's a guy yeah, called exactly. Brian, and he says, "You have removed my comments. Why face reality?" What is he talking about? Who is he? What's he talking about? You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. What don't is know. he talking about? I've not removed a single comment. <laughs> Daft as I a don't brush. Know. Maybe he's removed it himself and he's not realised. Well, here's he back. can attract your own uh, messages. Aye, that's it. Take it away. Him. Team McClue loyal, says Suzanne. Doing the swanny right. with him, says Razaboom. <laughs> Dean, love you lots. You're an absolute angel. I love all you too. And we'll Everyone catch up soon. And have a peaceful night, okay? Bless you, my darling. Dinky do. Take care. Thank you. Do. Dinky do. Bye -bye, Take everybody. care, angel. Bye bye, bye, -bye lovey. Bye bye. Bye bye. She's oh, amazing. Bye. There we are. That's Dee. Now, David, I hope you appreciated that. Dee came on because you asked her to. The Doom the Swanee with him, I say. That's what we're wanting. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, it's Scotty. It's, uh, it's Seth. Uh, how, how you doing, love? How you doing? Are you all right? I'm okay, Scotty. Um, not too bad, love. Uh, I live in Earlham. I know you're beside Eccles. Yes, I know exactly where you are, Earlham, yes. Yeah, Scotty. I was listening to uh, one of your other programs. I used to stay in Eccles. Really? Yes. Okay, that's just like uh, two miles away from me. Amazing. Lovely to have you on. Oh. Yes, uh, Scotty. I just uh, heard you, one of your videos and you were giving a lady quite a bit of a uh, ripping because she was fat. Uh, there's a little uh, bit of that, yes, because I think she cheeked up to me. She did. I heard that video, Scotty, and... She kind of, uh, she went a bit too, a bit too over. She time. crossed, she crossed the line. She did, she crossed the line, but she's from Bolton, so what do you expect? <laughs> well, this is it. You're quite right. Uh, yes, good for you. I, I just say, I just say, like, the, I enjoy your company and oh. the and uh, very interesting stuff. I also, I also enjoy hearing from uh, Karim, and uh, she's a fascinating guy also. Yes, as he is. Yes, amazing. Yes, all these yes, people, right. I don't know them personally. They're all yes. just colors. Hey, it's amazing how you can get people to phone in who are uh, very clever people. Just Everybody beautiful has, people. Yeah. The internet full of uh, sort of clown people. Isn't that right, Joseph? Real it's clowns, but look at now. someone like your good self who's come and joined us here. We love it. Yes, but Yes, but I mean, I'm a from I'm not from England. I'm from the I'm from the Caribbean myself. And, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, you heard of Aruba? I'm from Aruba, Scotty. Yes, yes, of course I have. I had a lovely yeah. lady on one night from from Montego. Oh, cool! Yeah, that sounds really good. Huh? And I said yeah. to her, I said, "What brought you over here?" And she said, "The volcano." Okay. Well, you know, Scotty. I'm uh, from Aruba, but my nationality, uh, I bet you can guess my nationality. Originally? Yeah, my, my, my nationality from being Aruba, what is it? Oh, good, tell me, tell me. Uh, Dutch. You're a Dutchman, how fantastic. Do you speak uh, Dutch? Uh, not really, Scotty. <laughs> Well, can I tell you a lovely story? When I was in school, we had a teacher who'd been an interpreter during the Second World War. Yeah. And he was billeted to stay with an old Dutch lady, but he didn't speak Dutch. And he, uh, he, he she had no English, and he hoped they'd yeah. get by with a little French. Okay. Anyway, he knocked the door. She opened yeah. the door. She said, Ha! Come into hus, wilt and kupete heben. Isn't that beautiful? 
Yeah, it's beautiful, Scotty. Yeah, you know, so, but uh, I was going to say also, uh, yeah, that, that, that lady in uh, that Bolton one, you've done the right thing. You gave her, uh, give her what for. So We had to give her what for, my dear friend. And it's lovely yeah, to uh, hear you. Thank you so much for calling. Well, I love Erlon. And, and if, uh, if Kareem's listening, and uh, he's a very interesting guy also, thanks to him for, for phoning in and all your sensible people, Scotty, your all your uh, educated people, yes? They are very educated people, including you, and I hope you'll phone me again. Okay, Scotty, one more question. Yes. I noticed, behind, I noticed behind you the pictures of uh, your graduation. Yes. Uh, what What is your, what is your, what, what is your field? Um, uh, uh, arts. I'm an arts man. Oh, wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. I uh, kind of sense you were quite a thespian. Dr dramatic uh, art. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Wonderful. Well, Scotty, I'll go and free up the line, my friend. Bless you, my dear friend, and dinky do. Yes, dinky do, and God bless all your listeners, Scotty, and uh, take care. And God bless you, sir, dinky do. What a fine fellow. Oh, that's amazing, actually, from Irlam in Manchester. Guys, this phone in is just. I don't know. It just blows me away. Uh, who have we got here? Um, now, I'm having my tea, says Jerry. A nice piece of fish with veg. Your smart comments don't work with me, says Brian. So there we are. So, Brian, we've never made any smart comments to you, so we don't know what you're on about. Or we don't know what you're on, I should say. A uh, Great chat, D. As always, I'm having my tea. I'll get a roll. Scotty, dinky do. Uh, daft as a brush, you said, the pot calling the kettle black. Not at all. Brian, I think we'll maybe just pop you down the swanee. There we are. Absolutely. I can't see any wisdom in having you on here. We need to get back on track with restrictions on calls, says Paul Francis. Carol, yes, indeed. What a nice guy, says the sand, wasn't he? Absolutely wonderful. Lovely gentleman. Absolutely, dear. So there we go. He was brand new, la, says Razaboom, a shot for Razaboombastic. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live with the internet phone in. This is the big one. I shall upload it to YouTube for you later uh, for anybody who's missed it because they thought they'd be better watching football. There we are. Silly thing to do. Son of the Swanee, he's looking for an argument. Well, he was trying to get an argument, but he's just gone down the Swanee because we haven't time for idiots. There's too many very clever special people on here. There we are. So we just haven't time for idiots. Sorry. I know some of you used to say the idiots make the phone in, but there's too, this is too interesting a project. This has got too many intelligent people watching right now. Dinky do. So there we are. So that's what's going on there. I say to you, thank you for 30 beautiful TikToks, beachy, beachy. And to everybody on TikTok for all their kindnesses. There are many, many, many kindnesses. So lovely to have you with us, dinky do. I say to you, uh, if you've just joined us and you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell. Get into the habit of doing that. Step one. When you find Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, you subscribe and tap the bell, right? Anybody doesn't want to, away you go, right? Away out into the internet and enjoy yourself with something you're interested in. So that's the thing for that. Also, follow me on TikTok if you haven't. And uh, if you're on TikTok, if you have a look at my TikTok bio, you'll see the link to the YouTube channel. Click that and go on and subscribe and tap the bell. If you've got a Twitch account, watch me on Twitch right now at Scotty underscore McClue. If you're on Facebook Live, dinky do, we love you on Facebook. Scotty, I'm living in Spain now, says Steve, for five years. I love your videos. Reminds me of home. Stephen, how fantastic. We love you in Spain. We are worldwide. This is the international internet phone in. But I think we call it the internet phone in because there is only one internet. Everybody joins the computers together at 9 o'clock UK time, Monday to Thursday, 10 o'clock UK time, Friday and Saturday. Steve, welcome, says the wonderful Jerry. 
Scapa Flow Texas is consulting. Galileo says, I don't understand the message I'm saying make sure you're McGee. Right. Scottish names for give and take, Galileo. Right. So a Scottish name for a giver is a McGee because in Scotland, you give somebody a pound. I'll give you that. I'll give you a pound. I'll give you a fiver. Yes. Scottish word for take is to tack. Right. Okay. Well, okay. I'll tack that half you. I'll tack that half you the new. You gave me a fiver. I'll tack it half you the new. Give and take. So Scottish, Mac Gee and Mac Tack. Yes. And more people take than give. But we've had lots of lovely givers on here, especially with paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. There we are. Thank you. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you, Dee, and thank you, Susan, for welcoming Stephen. He's obviously just joined us. You've got a guest request. Who's guesting, I ask you? There we are. Thank you. So here wants to have a chat. So here you are live on Scotty's phone in. Dinky do. Hello, sir. Here. He's away now, so he's obviously decided against that. So there we go. That's that, I say. Right. No guest requests. <laughs> he's away. He's away. Right. That seems to be that. Disconnected. Okay. That's that. There we are. We got a guest request there, but we'll get some guests in. Give an inch and tack a gee an inch and tack a mile, says Steve. Aye, give them an inch, they'll tack a mile. Uh, what have we got? He's trying. We can hear him. He was trying there, but he's uh, he's disappeared. So I don't know what's happened there. Uh, there we go. And we might not be able to get him heard on the actual phone in. If you see my if you see my problem now. We've got, can you believe this? It flies. Tempest Fugit, time flies when you're enjoying yourself. We've got eight minutes of our Thursday night phone in left. Eight minutes. So can I suggest you all get yourselves to the telephones and we have a blooming, a blooming good chat. That would be great. He was there, man, says Tom's. I understand man, but he's away. Now, man, that's the stuff. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello there, Scotty. It's Keith. Keith, how lovely to hear from you. And dinky do. And dinky do <laughs> to you. Now, I would just like to say I used to listen to you many, many years ago on Scotty FM. Aha! At that time, at that time, you said um, to the callers that um, fat people smelt. Fat people smelt. Yes. Well, fat people very often do smell. Yes, but, but I mean, everybody smells. I mean, everybody has a scent. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you if if you talk to your dog, they'll tell you. Yeah, but I, at the time I was a bus driver. Uh huh. I'm, I'm now retired, and um, it was so long ago. And were you a fat bus driver? Yes, I was, but I'm not now. I've lost about. Um, did you have to squeeze in behind the wheel of the Leyland Arab? Oh, no, 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 no. That was very comfortable. I just come right up to my waist. Lovely things. But at the time, you said to me, you went, well, fat people smell. And I said, well, they don't really. I went, um, um, I don't smell. And you said to me, well, okay, well, let them go. There's a nice clean fatty. A nice <laughs> and clean I fatty. That was so funny. <laughs> I still adore you. I actually admire you. You're an absolute brilliant person, and you keep me going. I'm, I'm, I'm mad as a hatter, Keith, but uh, I think it's important. You see, some of the radio stations thought, no, 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 we've had Scotty now for a couple of years, and uh, we're moving on to something modern, something new. But I thought to myself, no, wait a minute. You can do what you like, but the people want to talk to McClue, and McClue wants to talk to the people. So fair exchange is no robbery. So that's why I thought, 
Well, I thought to myself, Keith, with the, all the pandemic, the lockdown, all that stuff, I thought the people need to just have something light-hearted banter. You know, a bit of nonsense to see that everybody's still got their sense of humor, that they've still got their, their, their mental capacity, that you can still have a bit of fun. Yes, I know. But you're such a nice man. And I adore you so much, honestly. I have done for the last 20 years. Oh, say 20, years now. You're a lovely guy, Keith. And tell me, without being too specific, where did you drive your buses? Moving buses in Edinburgh. You cannot get better. I, 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 I haven't tried the trams out, but obviously when I was in Manchester, they had trams. Sheffield had trams. Blackpool, trams. But the Lothian buses... Such a wonderful, efficient, effective, very, very clean operation. Yes, definitely. To be honest with you, I haven't even tried the trams. I, I haven't. No, no, I haven't. And and I panicked. I went to Edinburgh. Fortunately, it was it was on a Saturday night about 8 o'clock. And I just took a left at Shandwick Place because I thought, I don't understand these signs. I don't know what I'm getting into. I don't want to get done for going on a tram line. Yeah, it's all so different now. It's a, I can go back, Keith, to when you could park on Princes Street. You can't do that now. Oh, heavens, you'd get towed away. Yeah. You'd get lifted. <laughs> you'd get crushed. But I'll tell you, see the buses. I used to love the gardeners and I had a bus driver on. I mean, I love the gardener as a, just as a creature, marine engines, the lot. And uh, I can remember I, I had a bus driver on. He said, Scotty, the gardener does 25 mile an hour up the hill and it does 25 mile an hour down the hill. <laughs> And it was a lovely sound. You you know, I can remember sitting behind a gardener engine bus. Boom, 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 boom. You know, and also the steering positions on the old buses. I don't know about now, but that lovely kind of almost flat wheel. Yeah, well, that first started, there was no, um, you know, um, it was easy to turn, like, you know, your steering wheel things and then over it. And Aye. You never had that when I first started, but now you've got that. You could use your finger to just turn it now. The power steering. Yeah, there was never had power steering when I first started. No, 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 no. You had to like to get up in your two your two legs and then turn the bus around the corner. Oh the wow. Did whatever. you have your crash gearbox? Yes, yes. Actually <laughs> the gearboxes they were actually like um, they were like here. Aye. And always yeah. you got a wee, I can remember hearing a double D clutch. Yeah. Well, that's what I was like, yes. Yes, you used to hear it, you're, mmm, mmm. Yeah, 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 but you don't get that now. No. <laughs> no, and, and I remember that when the Daimlers came in with the semi-automatic. That was the dentist. It was the dentist, the semi-automatic, just the wee lever. Yeah. You're just yeah, gonna, yeah. you're just gonna move it about. Yeah. Fantastic. But nowadays it's not like that, man. I miss all these days. I do, Scotty. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. Keith. It's been an absolute privilege talking to you tonight. I'm gonna have to go simply because we're out of time. You too, my friend. Now, please I'll give, you a call time, give me a call any time you like. Well, it's. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know anything about anybody. I because because we need to talk buses. Yes, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Keith. Thank all the best, home. buddy. Bless you. Okay. Night, night. Good night. Good night, Bye. sir. What a top man! Isn't that amazing, guys? They're like gold dust. See, see if you get a hold of a bus driver. The chat, amazing, just fantastic. And all of you that are into buses, Lothian uh, transport buses are the best system. Edinburgh buses look so tidy. I see them more in the city, clean and new. Night, night, Scotty. Night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Join us tomorrow night, Friday night at 10 o'clock.
We'll see you all there. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you, good night, God bless, and dinky-doo. Ta-ra, lads! <laughs>